Hello, this video is going to briefly discuss how to access an EAC and how to align goals. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to want to enable the EAC tool into your course. So from within your course, you're going to scroll down under the course management section, go to customization and tool availability. Then you will scroll down and in the E section you'll see EAC visual data. You will want to make sure that this box is checkmarked and then just hit submit. That will enable the EAC um, tool within your course. So from there you'll be able to find the EAC tool under your course tools. So if you click on course tools you will see EAC visual data and it will bring you to this dashboard. A couple things to remember whenever you're searching for a test would be one, you have to be an instructor in the course that you are searching for. So if you're in here, you can search for really any course. Um, you don't have to stay within the course that you um, enabled it in. You can, it, that just enables you to um, get to the, the tool which will then um, take you out to the dashboard. So you can search for really any course or any test within any course but you have to be an instructor in that course to be able to, to view it. So, for example, in this, in this course I have a chemistry test. So the other thing to remember is that what you type in here has to be what the test name is. So if I go in here, I'm gonna see that I want to check out this chemistry test. I wanna align some goals to this. So what I'm gonna do is I need to type it in exactly how it has, how it's named here I want to type it in here. In this case, I only probably need to write the word chemistry, but I may need to actually type it all out. You also want to look at the date. So this would be the date that you would have submissions for. So if submissions, I don't want to narrow it down to just today because that would only tell me submissions from today. So I want to go back to, I'm going to say the third kind of just capture that whole submission window. You might be able to just do a single week, whatever it is, just make sure you're adjusting the date and then just hit go. From there, you're gonna see that your test is gonna pop up. If you have multiple with that name, they will pop up here as well. It tells you which course it is in and what the course ID is in is as well, so you'll be able to choose the correct test, okay? So for example, if you have a chemistry test three and you have it in three different courses, you, all three courses, tests are going to pop up here. You can just narrow it down by course ID as to which one you're looking for. So I'm going to click on the this test and this is going to open up another dashboard for you. So this is where you're going to get your summary. So if you have had some people take the test, you're going to be able to go in and you're going to be able to see all the statistics for it. Okay, That video will come at a later date as to what all these mean. Right now we're just going to talk about how to actually align goals. So down here at the bottom, you're gonna see Goals Manager. So if you click on that, you will see all of the goals that we have set. So for instance, in the nursing program, we have um, multiple different goals, goal sets. If you just click the arrows, this stuff will just keep expanding for you to look at it. If you hover over something, you will see it'll pop up and tell you exactly what that is. So for instance, in you are your PSLO 01.00. When I hover over it, it tells me that that goal is the value is to value clients and their support systems as an integral part in decision making when providing compassionate care. So it does not say it here. When you're looking at them, you do have to actually hover over. So you're just gonna go in here and you are gonna, so over here on the side is your blueprint. This is a list of questions for that test. So say I'm gonna wanna align some goals to um, the first question. So I'm gonna click on that. Then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna find what goals I want. So I'm gonna click from the blooms. I'm gonna click that this is a first blooms, but it is also maybe part of the end class. So you can do multiple. So you can assign all that you need to at, at one time. If you need to go down here and do some others, you can you can expand as you need to. Go into some nursing 135 fundamentals. Hover over, kind of tells me what it is. Click one. Okay. 
Once I have all of the goals for that question that I need that need to be aligned, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit add. And you can see it will put those three over here under goals, okay? And then you just continue to go down and do the same. So for number two, question two, I'm going to choose which, which goals that I want it to go with. I'm going to hover over if I need to to see what they are. And then I'm going to hit add. And again, it'll add it right there. But that's all you have to do to um, align goals to test questions. You can align these goals after the fact. So say your students have already taken this test. You can go in and you can go ahead and align your goals and then still see the data. So once you've aligned all your goals for all of your questions, you're just going to go back out of this. You're going to go down here to goals summary and you can see you can see the goals and get all the data from that. So this can be done after the fact and still get the um, data that you need.